We are still on fire watch this Labor Day weekend. New evacuations this morning in Burbank, while firefighters have been working around the clock trying to get the upper hand on the Latuna fire. Joy Benedict is live in Burbank with the latest. And uh, Joy, what can you tell us this morning? Yeah, we do have some new evacuations here in Burbank, about 30 homes. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute, but I want to show you where we are right now. We're at Villa Cabrina Park. That side is actually City of Los Angeles. The side that I'm on is actually Burbank, and you can see a lot of smoke where an hour ago on our sister station, CBS2, it was all fire. That's simply because they, I guess the fire was getting a little too close to comfort for them, and so they've gone ahead and they've done a series of airdrops just in the last 30 minutes in attempts to just put this fire completely out. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw maybe one more over there on the top of that hill. But I want to show you what we've been dealing with all night long. This is certainly the fire that has now been burning in day three. This is day three of this fire. As of now, the last numbers were 5,800 acres burned, but you can expect those burn numbers to increase when we get an update later on this morning. 10% containment, 800 firefighters in all fighting this blaze. Two firefighters have been treated for heat as well as dehydration issues. And um, hopefully we'll have some more information about them, but we are told that they're expected to be okay. I'm going to break the mold. I want to come out here live real quick if we can, as we're about to do another airdrop over this area. You can see just how close these flames are burning to these um, apartment buildings that are right over here ahead. And that's what they've been doing really for the last... 30 minutes or so. I wanted to make sure that you got a chance to see that. But I have another video that I want to show you as there have been some homes that have been damaged because of this fire. In all, we have had three homes that have burned because of this fire. This one in particular was in Green Verdugo Drive in Shadow Hills, and you can see it was burned to the ground. Now, there were people in the home as that fire was inching closer and closer, but thankfully, some fast thinking neighbors ran inside to get the person out. Luckily, we got up there in time. We were able to carry him down in his wheelchair, up down three flights of stairs, and get that whole family out. The whole mountainside was, we were surrounded in flames. And back out here live, I want to talk a little bit about the evacuations that we have going on. There are still mandatory evacuations in the city of Los Angeles. They're over in the McGrody Park area. That's northeast of the 210. Warnham, south of Sunland Boulevard. Morning Glow, south of Latuna Canyon. And Glenwood, Glenwood Oaks area is still under a mandatory evacuation. As I mentioned, most of the Burbank evacuations were lifted late last night. But then, of course, just a few hours ago, there are 30 homes that were evacuated in the Castleman Estates area. Their police are going going door to door, knocking directly on the homes that are impacted by that. And that's actually not too far from where we're standing right now. I'm imagining the fire was getting dangerously close as it has to this park. And they didn't want the homeowners there just as a precaution. But nonetheless, certainly a lot of activity, Amy, still going on with this fire as we are now entering day three. You're going to see the fire department up. They're going to be surveying the area. And I can imagine that those numbers are going to increase as soon as we get those new information to you. Those new numbers will, of course, pass along to you right here on KCAL 9. All right. Thank you, Joy.